Hey guys, today we're gonna make a little robot. So I'm gonna use a Sharpie, but you can use a pencil if you, if that's all you have. Okay, here we go. Three fourths up on the paper, you're gonna make a square. That's gonna be the base, mostly the body. Don't worry about it being perfect. Okay, now inside that square, you're gonna make another square. This is gonna be for a little door. I'll explain that later. Okay, now we're gonna make the little neck. And for the head, you're gonna start with a big half circle. It looks kind of like a watermelon. And on the edges of the watermelon, they sort of look like earrings or those big stud earring things that people wear sometimes. And then a smile to finish off the slice of watermelon. The rest of the head is gonna be like a half circle sort of, a little bit more squarish. And on top, I'm going to make, you can make whatever you want for sort of an antenna, but I'm going to make these little stairs with a little circle on the top. That's the top of my robot. Now for the eyes, you can make these kind of crazy. I'm going to make one up here and my other one down here. Inside your robot, you decide where he wants to be looking. Mine's going to be a little, little kugel eyed. I'm going to put a little eyebrow for a little expression on both. Okay, so now head, neck, I'm going to make a couple little lines for some added detail. Right here for the shoulders, just put a half circle on each side. All right, now for the waist, thicker than the neck, similar like a rectangle. Finish that rectangle up and make a couple of lines in there. Oops, a little bit crooked, no big deal. Okay, now from the waist right here, a line that angles down a little bit, angles down a little bit. This is sort of our um, robot's hips. Apparently he's been dieting because he's got pretty skinny hips. Okay, now for the legs. We're going to get back to those arms later, don't you worry. For the legs, you're going to make sort of like a triangle type shape. And then a circle. That's the kneecap. And then this triangle is gonna go out towards the bottom. Almost looks like the, our guy's wearing bell bottoms from the 70s. Okay, and then his big foot. It's another sort of half circle. Bring that down. All right, now this one, you can make your robot doing any kind of pose you want. He could be dancing, he could be jumping, whatever, however you wanna angle, angle his legs, but mine are gonna be pretty basic. And don't forget a triangle type shape again. This one's going to be going down a little bit. Ran out of room a little bit on the paper. No big deal. Okay, now for the arms, they're going to be like those old school toys, slinkies. I might have just aged myself a little bit. Going to bring the arm down almost to the bottom of where the hips are. Two lines like that. And on, same on the other side. Again, the arms can do any crazy thing. They can go up in the air. They can wave high. They can be carrying something, whatever you choose. Now a oval shape. Well, that's kind of a pathetic oval, but the best you can. And now we're gonna make some fingers. I'm gonna make like a little oval for the thumbs. Remember, the thumbs point in, you don't want them backwards. And some little rectangles for the fingers. Four, preferably. <laughs> Five, including the thumb. Okay, so now our robot is pretty much done. What you're going to do is you're going to cut him out and you're going to put something special in the inside. So here's my little guy. I love to play basketball. So I made a little 3D basketball hoop on the inside. So my robot's function is he's going to play basketball with me all the time. But you could put anything in there for him. Your robot could do chores for you. You could have uh, him do homework. Maybe he delivers pizzas to you inside that little door. So all I did on the back is I taped a little bit of the square, a leftover paper. You just cut, cut a hole, just three quarters of the door, so it opens, and then glue that back on, and then put whatever you want on the inside. Cute little functional robot. And go. Don't forget to be awesome. Tune in for the next lesson soon.